What's up YouTube? Welcome to the next part of the FJ62 rescue. This time I'm going to be cleaning the fuel tank out with some muriatic acid and then coating it with POR15 tank sealer. Previous owner emptied out the tank. Right now all that's left in it is a bunch of gross rust. So uh, I am just flushing it out right now. I'll try to get a lot of the rust and junk out. Look at that. And then once it is pretty flushed out, I'm going to introduce the muriatic acid into it. Slosh that around, drain it, dispose of it, and then do the POR15 tank sealer. So I've been filling it with water and then tipping it over, kind of shaking it, pouring it out of the fill hole. And a lot of rust has come out. Quite a bit. I've already washed a lot away, but... Yeah, a lot of rust. So I'm gonna do that a few more times and then stop when a bunch of rust chunks stop coming out. All right, I've done a few more rounds of rolling it around, shaking it and then dumping it out of the filler and a lot of rust is still coming out, but I still have hope. I'm gonna do it more and report back. All right, here I have the muriatic acid, two gallons from Home Depot for 10 bucks. Here I have 13 and a half pounds of baking soda, which is more than enough to neutralize that amount of acid. And I have taped up, put some plastic over and then taped up all of the holes, except for this hole that I'm gonna fill with. And probably gonna go halfway with water and then pour the acid in and then seal this up with plastic and duct tape, shake it around, rotate it, what have you for, I don't know, I'll try an hour and then see how it looks. All right, I changed up my taping strategy. I'm gonna pour from the top because I was able to get a hose clamp on this to not let it leak, but it would just leak out of the top. So I have a lot of water in there. I'm gonna pour the acid in and I guess wait. Shake it up a little bit and wait. All right, at 642, I poured the two gallons in and I kind of sloshed it around a little bit, got some uh, some slush out of the tank, wiped it up instantly with the gloves on, obviously, gloves and eye protection. Although there, there was really no risk of getting it in my eyes. It's still not leaking out of that clamped part. I'm gonna check back, slosh it around again, and see what it looks like in there in an hour. I'll probably put some tape over the holes just, uh, I don't know, just to kind of try to keep the smells in, I guess. All right, it's been just over 30 minutes. See how it looks in there. So you can't really tell. Actually looks kind of shiny down there. Yeah, you see some rust floating at the top and that's not super rusty on the bottom. This won't get rid of pitting, but I think that's doing pretty darn well. So I'm gonna lean it over a bit to get the areas that it hasn't gotten yet and then uh, do that for another 30 minutes and then I guess neutralize it and drain it. It's been about an hour. Looks fairly clean in there actually. See some shininess that I didn't. And when I slosh it around it uh it exposes fairly clean looking metal. Still some scale and stuff on it. It's been an hour, but I'm gonna give it about 30 more minutes. All right, YouTube, we're at the uh, hour, over hour and a half mark right now. I've successfully neutralized and drained all the acid, uh, took the proper baking soda ratio, dumped the acid out little by little, made sure it was all neutralized, flushed it away and repeated. It. It's all diluted and neutralized. So here's the result inside the tank. It's clean metal. Beautiful. So. I need to take all this tape off and then dry out the inside with the heat gun. I'm excited. This, uh, I think this worked. All right, I'm gonna call it a night, but uh, I'm very happy with the progress she's made so far. the heat gun out of the way and try to dry it out. Okay. 
was a lot better than it was. I'm going to continue heat gunning it, not really leaving it in one place, but that's just while I film. Super excited. What's up YouTube? It's a couple days later. I'm messing with this tank again. Had a little bit of flash rust and I didn't have time that night that I had finished initially uh, aciding, I guess, the inside of the tank to coat it. So I'm going to do it again, this time with just one gallon, and I'm going to do a concentrated plan of attack now. Instead of just filling the whole thing with diluted acid, I'm going to put four gallons in of 75-25 acid, uh, or water acid, and I'll slosh it around, put the tank in a lot more positions, hopefully get it finalized so that it is ready to, ready to go later today. There was some stuff making noise in the tank, so I'm just gonna slosh it around. <laughs> Try to get any solids out. bunch of rust chunks came out. Not many, but a few. So probably gonna do that again. All right, added one gallon of acid to three gallons of water and poured it into the tank. Let that sit like that for probably 30 minutes and then move it so that it's focusing on another area and then keep doing that until I'm confident the whole thing is coated. Well, not coated, but the whole thing has been soaking. Actually rotated to this position right off the bat. And I'll probably roll it in half an hour and then roll it again and roll it again and roll it again. And then do it like I was. And then maybe try to cover those and flip it upside down. I don't know, we'll see. All right, the tank has been soaking for a good while. I'm gonna pour the acid out back into this bucket and uh, let's see what it looks like. Pulled the plug and are now draining it that way. And it looks nice and clean inside. I don't know if you can tell. I was able to get a good amount of acid back, but as you can see, it does not look clear like it was when it went in. So I don't know if I'm gonna reuse that or filter it or what, but I'm flushing the gas tank now that that's all drained out. And I'm gonna dump this, flush it again, flush it again, suck the remainder out that doesn't drain and then dry it with a heat gun and then i'll see about coating it all right time to attempt to dry it out again have a heat gun going alternating between holes sucked all the uh puddled water out with this pneumatic brake bleeder hopefully this will uh dry it out reasonably enough so that i can actually do the por 15 step before it flash rusts sorry the garage is chaos but it's a lot cleaner than we started with. Insert picture of how it was. A lot cleaner than we started with. Wouldn't call it perfect, and with the nature of this FJ62 tank, it is pretty hard to get completely dry afterwards to apply any sealant or sealer, but I'm going to give that a shot anyways, I think. What's up, YouTube? I just cleaned this gas tank out, if you can call it clean, with muriatic acid. Did a few rounds of it. Um, and now I'm going to attempt to seal the tank. So I did the muriatic acid. I dried it out with a heat gun, air, etc. Let it sit a little while. It's kind of flash rusting, but nothing too bad. This says it stops rust in corrosion and leaks, so I assume a little bit of rust is okay, as long as it's dry in there. 
So I'm going to get to it. I'm going to uh, open it up. Stir well and pour the can into the tank. And then rotate the tank. So let's get to it. Let's pop this sucker open. So there are the goods. Mix it up real good and then start pouring and rotating. Got the gas tank installed. 